help stave off a much deeper disaster and even greater jobs. They saved and helped create jobs and have begun to put the brakes on this devastating recession. But I know that for the millions of Americans who are looking for work, for those who are struggling in this economy, full recovery can't come soon enough. I hear from you at town hall meetings like this. I read your letters. The stories I hear are the first thing that I think about in the morning. They're the last thing I think about at night. They're the focus of my attention every way you minute of every day. The simple truth is that it took us years to get into this mess, and it will take more than a few months to dig our way out of it. Your insurance. 
exchange, a marketplace where insurance companies will compete to cover you, not to deny you coverage. And if you run a small business and you're looking to provide insurance for your employees, you'll be able to choose a plan through this exchange as well. I've heard from small business owners across America trying to do the right thing, but year after year, premiums rise higher and choices grow more limited. And that's certainly true right here in Ohio. Now, if you're a taxpayer concerned about deficits, I want you to understand I'm concerned about deficits too. Because in the eight years before we came into office, Washington enacted two large tax cuts, primarily for the wealthiest Americans added a prescription drug benefit to Medicare, funded two wars, all without paying for it. <laughs> the national debt doubled. We were handed a $1.3 trillion deficit when we walked in the door. What we necessarily had to add to in the short term to deal with this financial crisis now, I have to tell you, I have to say that folks have a lot of nerve who were up to just get us into this fiscal hole and then start going around trying to... Not be paid for on the backs of middle class families. 